My name is Eric Wielander. Welcome to my channel all about building a better smart home with Apple HomeKit. Now, I've previously made videos on this channel about my Logitech Circle View camera that I mounted in the garage, my iSmartGate garage door opener, my Belkin Wemo Wi-Fi smart switches, and my Abode smart security system that's compatible with HomeKit. And I'm gonna show you in this video how I put all of those together to make some really great automations for just turning on and off my lights. I don't to worry about finding my way around in the dark to the light switch to turn them on. It just, they're on. And I don't have to worry about leaving them on uh, when I'm not in the garage. It'll just automatically turn off for me. And if you're curious about any of those individual product videos, there'll be links in the description for you to check those out as well. I'm here in the home app on my entryway and that has a side door sensor as well as a front door sensor that are both from my abode security system. So if we go here, into the side door. Now you'll see actually the side door happens to be open as I'm filming this. Uh, but then there's an automation for when the side door opens and that's the door that I use to enter into my garage. So when that opens, uh, there is a garage lights on scene which turns on the lights in my garage. Now that's another tip that I have is when you're creating automations, always tie the automations to scenes, not accessories individually. Uh, it's just gonna make it way more maintainable down the road and make things a lot easier and that's probably a topic for another video. Now you'll see that I've added a custom condition here that only turn on these lights if the garage door is closed. That's because if the garage door is open, then I probably don't need these lights to turn on because either A, it's during the day when light shining into the garage, so I don't need the lights on in the garage, or B, I just opened or closed the garage door for something, and so the light on the actual garage door is on for a little bit of time, and so I don't need the main lights in the garage to additionally turn on. Now, how did I add that condition? Well, that's in a third-party HomeKit app, and in this case, I'll show it to you in Home Plus, which I've been using to set up some of these automations, and there'll be a link to Home Plus in the description. Now, Home Plus is a paid app. If you're looking for a free alternative that does about the same thing in this particular case, check out the Eve app. Uh, they have a great free app on the App Store that you can also use to set up these similar kinds of automations, and I'll talk about that in other videos here on the channel. So here's that same automation over in Home Plus. Now you'll see that when the entryway side door contact sensor changes to no contact, a little bit confusing, but it means, you know, it's split apart. Then I'm going to check under the condition that the garage door, again, because I have a smart garage door opener, so I know if the garage door is closed, if that's closed, then I'm going to go ahead and turn on the scene called Garage Lights On, which, hmm, I wonder what that does. Uh, so then that scene is triggered when I simply open the door, but again, only if the garage door is open. So what about when I leave the garage and I want the garage door lights to turn off? So here's my automation for that. Now, I'm using my Logitech Circle View camera, which exposes a motion sensor based on the camera information to HomeKit. So I'm just using the motion sensor inside of my camera, and when the motion sensor in that camera that's in the garage stops detecting motion, it goes ahead and checks two conditions, and that's whether or not the garage door is closed, and also whether or not that side contact uh, sensor, you know, the, for the side door is closed as well. So that means, you know, basically if both the doors to the garage are shut and there's no motion, then there's nothing in the garage that needs lights, so you can go ahead and turn off the lights. And of course, I have this linked to a scene called Garage Lights Off. I wonder what that does. Now, why do I have these conditions? If I have the lights on and there's no motion detected, uh, for some reason, if I have one of those doors open, let's say I'm loading and unloading stuff from a car at night, or maybe I'm going into the garage to organize some things briefly and then going back into the house at night, I might leave the door to the garage cracked open a little bit, and that means that it just kind of overrides the motion sensor for those edge cases. So uh, leaving these conditions uh, lets me know you know, that you and, and other people in my house know that, you know, you could just leave the door cracked open to the garage 
garage. And then when you're out there, you don't have to worry about the lights shutting off. Now, one important detail to note about the contact sensor from a boat is it's meant to be used inside. And of course, I have it mounted on the inside part of my door to the garage. And that's a key part about a lot of those contact sensors. Um, I'm not familiar with a contact sensor that's rated to work outside, at least at this point. If you know of one, let us know in the comments below. So do you have a killer automation in your garage or shed or car storage area that you wanna share? Or where, you know, have you built a bunch of uh, smart home accessories together to make a really cool automation? I think it's great to share those as a community in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really does help other people find this video and the channel so they can build a better smart home with Apple HomeKit too, just like us. And thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.